What is up guys, little dog dog here. The expansion Menafoss has been released. So I'm going to bring you the quest guide for the Jack of Spades quest. Um, the quest requirements for this quest are only the quest Diamond in the Rough, but you need to have completed Stolen Hearts to be able to do Diamond in the Rough. So if you've completed Diamond in the Rough, you have all the quest requirements done. And there are no skill requirements to do this quest. Also, there are no specific items needed to complete this quest. You don't even need to bring armor or a weapon. You actually have to unequip your weapon. As well as, um, don't bring a follower as you have to dismiss, dismiss it during the quest. I would recommend, however, that you bring a couple uh, energy potions, at least one, as uh, there's a lot of running around the city and you uh, end up having to walk. You can begin by talking to the Emir in the al Karid Palace. He's going to be on the first floor in the most southern part. So you're going to speak with the Emir, Ali Mirza. Just talk to him, and then choose the first chat option, talk about Jack of Spades. This is going to bring up the dialogue to accept the quest, so just accept it when it pops up. There are no required items and no required skills, um, so you can look at the rewards if you want. That's all that was there. He's going to tell you to go speak to Osman, and then speak to Hassan. Osman's going to be on the southeast roof, and um, Hassan is going to be right above you on the roof. He wants you to speak to Osman first before you go with the sign to Menafos. So choose the first chat option, yes, when you accept his request. And he tells you to go meet Osman on the roof. So there's a staircase just to the northeast in the room you're in. Climb up that and then go south. You'll find Osman on the roof there. Now you're going to want to choose um, every chat option he has for you. Uh, you want to find out as much as you can about Menafos. So he talks to you, and you're going to choose options 1 through 4. Just uh, click on them and read through them. Since you're using guide, you don't have to read them uh, unless you're interested in the lore and uh, the story behind it. Once you've selected all the chat options that you wanted to read about, just choose 5, no more questions. And then go north out of the room. And we're going to go meet Hassan on the roof. So on the west side of the palace, there's a staircase that goes up the roof. And then on the south side of the roof, there is Hassan. Make sure you don't have a weapon equipped and you have your familiar dismissed or your pet at this point. Choose one. I know all I need to know. Let's go. And he's going to show you a cutscene. I just sped this up for you because you guys will have your own cutscene. Don't worry about watching mine. You can just click through it. And it's a Pharaoh and Jabari from Menafos talking. Choose the first chat option, let's go. After, as long as you don't have a weapon or a familiar out, you'll be able to go. And then you're just going to click south. You actually have control of the flying carpet. So it's actually a little to the southwest. I ended up going southeast because I'm to terrible with directions. Uh, but yeah, if you go southwest, uh, more towards the Bedouin camp and uh, towards the pyramid, if you've done Desert Treasure, you'll end up getting there. But you can just go south, and then once you reach the river, uh, just follow the river down. It won't even let you cross the river, so follow the river down, and you'll get to the gates of Metaphos. So like you can see, it won't let you cross the river. So just follow the river down. Grand Vizier Hassan will make funny jokes if you're taking too long. Funny is uh, pushing it a little bit, but once you arrive at the gates of Menafos, you're going to want to click towards them, where you can see this guy is floating right now, and your character will descend towards where he is. Choose the first chat option, yes, to land, and you'll get another cutscene after talking to Grand Vizier. You can skip the cutscene if you want, I cut it out. And then you're going to go in, and you're going to have Ambassador Jabari and Hassan talking. Just click to the dialogue. And then your character will follow them. Mine glitched a little bit, as you'll see here in a second. And then you follow them into the living quarters. You meet... The Grand Vizier of Menafos here. Just talk to Grand Vizier Hassan and choose the first chat option to talk about Jack of Spades. And you'll be given a dialogue with Ambassador Jabari and Hassan. Or, yeah, Grand Vizier Hassan, not Hassan. They have very similar names. 
So just click through the dialogue and the Jack of Spades will appear. And he's going to rob Asan. Talk to Grand Vizier Hassan once more. Choose talk about Jack of Spades. And then you're going to go out and look for a guard. There are guards right outside the door. Speak to the guard and it'll tell you where the Jack of Spades went. Choose the second chat option, never mind, to uh, ask where to go. And then you're going to head to the Port District. This is on the southernmost part of the city. As you can see, you have to run across this platform here, this plateau platform, um, to get to the south side. The gates are closed between these two. And then he's in the inn, the guy you have to talk to. See, he's located right here. Talk to the Admiral. Just click through the dialogue. There are no chat options, and the Jack of Spades will appear and steal his trinket. He'll tell you to go catch him, and that he wants you to get his trinket back. So just click through the dialogue. And now you're going to head here to speak to a guard. These are the closest guards on the way there. Speak to the guards located right there, and they'll tell you where to look next. Speak to the guard, and the guard will automatically tell you where the Jack of Spades went. Just choose Nevermind once again. And now you're going to head up to, towards the Imperial District. Um, this is just west of that plateau you just crossed. You're actually very close to it now. If you haven't yet, activate the Lodestone for yourself. And then head up the stairs. You're going to speak to the commander in the Imperial District. And once again, the Jack of Spades will appear behind her and steal her dagger. She's going to tell you now um, where the Jack of Spades might be located. She's going to tell you in the worker district. Um, so this time, you don't need to speak to a guard to find out where he went. She has an idea. So now you're going to head into the worker's district. This is just west of the living quarters you went into, um, north of where you are now. So you have to go back down the stairs. and go northwest. Once you're here, you're going to go north of the fire, or uh, west of the fire, and talk to Batal. He talks to you about the Jack of Spades, and once again, he appears and steals from Batal. He takes a coin purse of his, And Batal asks you to go into the Shifting Tombs, as that's where he thinks he would be. The Shifting Tombs are right there to your south. You can see they're right here, where I'm going in now. And then the Jack of Spades is going to be standing there. Just talk to him. And then you're going to have three chat options available to pick. You're going to want to choose each one. It doesn't matter what order. Just pick one through three. And then once you've picked all three, a fourth chat option will appear. The Jack of Spades turns out to be Ozan. Crazy twist, right? M. Night Shyamalan level twist. So yeah, like I said, after you choose the third chat option, a fourth chat option is going to appear. Choose it and say, I've heard enough. And he's going to give you the items back um, to return to the people to gain reputation with them. Once you have all four items to give back, uh, go out and just go to the people you talk to. It does not matter what order. Patel is right there, so go to Patel first. Yeah, it doesn't matter what order you return him in. So uh, after Patel, the closest one would be the living quarters uh, with the vizier, Asan, to return her item. And then the imperial district. And then lastly, it would be the port.
So give it back to the commander, and then we're going to go to the admiral last. Once you've returned the Admiral's uh, item, if he was the last one, you're going to want to turn to Hassan now um, to complete the quest. Returning that final item unlocked the um, Grand Exchange, so if you just wanted the Grand Exchange, in Menaphos, you didn't care about reputation or completing another quest, you just want access to the city. Uh, you don't actually need to complete the quest, but you might as well, as it's a couple more steps. But if you uh, are a peer or something, you don't want the experience, uh, you don't have to complete it now. So, choose the first chat option with Hassan, talk about Jack of Spades. Click through the dialogue. No thank you, you'll unlock reputation in Menaphos, and that is quest complete. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, tips, or anything like that. Um, join my friend chat if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're bored, check out some of my other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, and event guides. Thanks.